channel. It's a chance we got in the middle of Ohio winter to tack a visit to the Sulu Sea on the end of a work trip to the Philippines. This was a work trip visiting our team in Manila and our route was to Detroit and the incredibly long leg to Seoul then on to Manila. The meetings there were fantastic and we had a great time enjoying the hospitality of our friends there. Then Deb and I headed to Two Seasons Resort on Palawan. We chose this place with our friend's advice, including the fact that it had a Hobie cat. Unfortunately, the standing rigging was broken, so no sailing. But this is where we stayed. Wrapped the work week here in Manila, and we are packing up tomorrow morning, heading for Caron. never got tired of being able to walk out the door up to the beach and into some fantastic snorkeling. Here there's a moray eel and I don't realize what I'm looking at and all of a sudden I'm getting a little too close to him and realize I need to back away. The tide was shifting toward him. But fortunately he didn't bite me. We enjoyed these little clams. They embed themselves into the coral. Super colorful. A wide variety of different colors. The lionfish hanging out. This guy is very well camouflaged. See if you can pick him out there. I enjoyed going down deep and chasing angelfish around. Just beautiful. You're probably down 25 feet, maybe, as the reef slopes away and into the deeper water. Enjoyed the clownfish hanging out, trying to intimidate me from coming any closer. There's a pretty good sized one that's darker in color and getting super aggressive. The giant clam bed out in front of the resort is really enjoyable. The really intricate coloring and different colors. Kind of amazing. You get up to them and wave a little water at them, you can get them to close their jaws. In detail, there's like a hole or mouth part or something there. And then on the other side, something that looked a little bit like a zipper. Very interesting. I like the coloring on this guy. Really beautiful, endless array of different types of corals. I like the color on this one too. Land submarine setting up for an attack on Deb on the paddle board. As I pass underneath the board, she took me with the paddle. We pass these shoals of thousands of fish going in and out to the reef. came across this interesting little guy. 
chocolate chip starfish and back out onto the beach. This is a Japanese freighter that was sunk in combat by the American Navy in World War II. Doorway down below the deck, front of the cabin and the stern. Following the beautiful curved stem up the bow. There's a second wreck following the stem of a deeply encrusted artificial reef. Here's the bilge keel. And the stern of this wreck was nowhere to be seen. Well enough right past there. Pass Island was a beautiful spot to wind up our tour. Mark took us up to an overlook there. He knows the folks who own and run the island. And we looked out into the South China Sea where he went fishing for days with his father. And of course, one more round of snorkeling. These ravens are a delight. We got a big kick out of them. Just a great place to be. We thoroughly enjoyed the rest of our stay there at Two Seasons Resort. Blooms, breeze, awesome pool area. But all too soon, it was time to head home. And a 30 knot breeze had blown in, so the first leg of our trip was interesting. Power outage. Mm -hmm.